We're gonna do an update today on the Sunset Clutch and getting them feeding on frozen thawed. Daddy, everything got running. Hey Eli. What? What do you know? I know. Ducks. What about ducks? Ducks are swimming. Never know. Hey, wait, wait. Hey, come here. But Eli, come here. Do we feed ducks bread? No. Why not? Because the because ducks because bread is super bad for them. That's what I know. <laughs> Hey, Moose. Hey, Moose. Oh, that's a little baby. Hmm? A little tiny baby. Be careful, oh. the baby. How you doing? Hi. Good. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> Get that hair down there. Get that down there. Get that down. Get that. Oh, 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 my gosh. Here we go. Come on. Come on, snap boy. Ow. <laughs> Top of the morning, friends and family. I'm gonna try filming this vlog on my cell phone today. Why not? I'm feeling it. I'm home now, obviously. Back from the trip. Have been for, well, on this vlog, I just got back last night late. We're gonna go for a run. We got the tiny moosh. What you doing, tiny moosh? And we're going to the park. We're going to the park too? And feed the ducks. And feed the ducks? Yeah. Gonna hit the ground running, my tay? <laughs> Hitting the ground running. Gotta make this happen. Gonna rock and roll until the wheels fall off right my screaming ah! pretty tired got back really late last night but I feel like just got to make it happen man just dig in feet first and go well we can but we don't have any food for them well we can for what what are you doing you little velociraptor are you doing velociraptor stuff are you a velociraptor girl what's this you ready to run you ready to move let's go Let's do this, guys. Eli really wanted to feed the ducks. But all we had was bread. And we learned recently that bread is not good for ducks. I spent my whole life thinking that I could just feed bread to ducks. And I learned the other day from a couple of friends online that bread is not good to feed ducks. And I could have maybe guessed that on my own, but I never did. If we have seeds and fruit, then we'll feed the ducks. And that brings me to a point. Often I've talked about how important it is to be, you know, kind and cordial others online if you really want people to learn from you. But it's a two-way street, because you also need to be willing to accept advice. If somebody says like, hey, that's bad for the animal, it's good idea to be willing to listen and because somebody might know something you don't. Even if you've been doing it one way your whole life, there's, it might be wrong. It might be the wrong way. And it's a, a good idea to, to listen if you want to, you know, if you want to learn and, and make progress. Because if you're not learning and making progress, then you're basically coming to a standstill. And if you're standing still, well, you're not going to get to the places you want to be. I was trying to figure out some kind of transition from the rock splooshing to the uh, being in here in the snake room because we're going to change out waters today and I just, just like, that was ridiculous. I want to get it out. You want to get it out? Go ahead. Okay. Well, it changes because let me try again. Hey, Eli. What? What? Oh, we did that already. <laughs> hey, Noah. What? Do we, you we always did no. it. I know. T-Rexes. What about T-Rexes? That's... Ray. When they were one of the last dinosaurs to go extinct. And... Focus, boy! The, the Tyrannosaurus Rex is their long name and T-Rex is what people call them for sorts and 
Tyrannosaurus Rex means Lizard King. So, it's the king of the dinosaurs. What you got in your hand there? A temperature thing. Oh, yeah? It tells you how hot things are. <laughs> so, awesome thing about this dude wanting to do a dinosaur stuff. No, we're doing a dinosaur party for your birthday? Is that what's happening? Yeah, and I'm having a fossil cake and it's for my six-year-old birthday. So it's going to be Noah Sage's six-year-old birthday coming up in a bit. And he wants to have a dinosaur birthday party. Now what's really awesome about that for me is that when I was six years old, I had a dinosaur birthday. That was my first dinosaur birthday party. It was my six-year-old birthday. So obviously Eli's way super into the snakes and Noah's kind of like, eh, about the snakes. I mean, he likes them. He likes them. But Eli seems to be like way more into holding them and stuff. But... You know, now Noah's wanting to have this dinosaur birthday party for his sixth birthday and he's super into dinosaurs. Sounds familiar. Eli, what do you want to do? I want to hold a snake. What? I want to, hold, I want to do water snakes. You want to water the snakes? Yeah. Hey Noah, do you want to film what we put the water together for the snakes? Sure. You do? Well, you, well don't, are you sure? Mm -hmm. How sure? You really want to? 100% sir. What do you know? Oh, we already did that. I know rocks. What about rocks? That's a hard act. That's what we know. <laughs> so Eli doesn't know much. Oh, yeah. Check out these snakes back here, man. These snakes are ready to eat. We've got plenty of rodents thawing out in the room and that is why. So we're gonna do an update today on the sunset clutch and getting them feeding on frozen thawed. Last time was mildly unsuccessful. The last time we showed that on video. So I'm hoping that those little babies are ready to start taking down some frozen thawed fuzzy rats. So I had some of you guys asking how I thawed out my frozen rodents and I basically just let them sit out at room temperature for the day and then the evening comes, I put them on this thing which is just basically a styrofoam insulation, a little heat pad and throw paper towels on top of it so that the rat juice doesn't get all disgusting on the pad itself. And that's it. So I'm gonna stick those rats on there and then we're gonna try to feed these snakes. I up, Daddy. They will be in a minute. Eli really wants to help me grab the rats. I'm gonna let him this time. I don't usually let him touch the rats, but I'm just gonna make sure he washes his hands real good afterwards. Always wash your hands real well after handling rats, man. They're nice and soft. Oh, they're super cute. Okay, I'm gonna do the rest now, okay? Okay. Now about one hour on that pad, and we'll get the feeding. It's gonna be dark. Okay, 
It's been an hour. Rats are thawing. Right there. <laughs> Here goes nothing. That was all the clutch they hatched before the sunset clutch, but as you can see, they all took and even struck their frozen thawed meals. And I did them the exact same way that I've been doing the sunset clutch, so it works. As you can see, only one of six of the Sunset Clutch only took it, but that's just kind of the way it goes. Patience is the name of the game. I left the Frozen Thought in there for the rest of them. Hopefully they'll do the carry-on thing and just kind of jump in there and chomp on them when they're just laying there. It does happen, not as often as it doesn't, but it does. And if they haven't taken in the morning, I'll try and assist feed those same rodents to them and see how it, that goes. But the journey continues. I'll take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. All right, before we get out of here, so we're back in here for the next day, and all of the snakes basically took, except for a couple. So what I do, if they don't take right away, is I lay the rat down. Here, let me find one that didn't take. So this one, this one ate. This one, I actually just assist fed, and he took it like a champion. So that's sweet. So this one, you see, didn't eat. And what I do is I leave the rat right there on that little ledge so that they can come up and kind of, if they come crawling up by the water ball, it's like the head is right there and ready for them to grab if they want to. So since he didn't decide to take it and he's one of two, so yeah, that one, him and the other one I just assist fed. And I wish I had showed the assist fitting on video because it went really well. But uh, I'm gonna try it with this guy and see what happens. And basically what I'll do here is very gently just kind of hold them behind the head just so I can work the nose into their mouth. I can kind of tell right now that this is not necessarily going to work for him just by the way his body language is going. Get the head of the rat into their mouth. It's obviously not working very well for me right now. Then I kind of hope that he'll want to just bite down and take it. This dude I can tell right now is not going to be successful with him just by the way his body language is. He's not going to take it. I can already tell. I wish I had filmed the other one doing it because he took it like a freaking champion. Oh well. So anyway, so this guy's not going to be successful at assist feeding this time around, so I'll just put him back in and we'll try with him again next time he feeds. You want to just grab it? You want to just grab that rat on your own? No, he doesn't. Yeah, he wants nothing to do with it. Bummer. Anyway, there you go guys. The journey continues.